A brisk late March morning found me in Sandwich, Massachusetts, home of the Sandwich Trout Hatchery, run by the Massachusetts Division of Fish and Wildlife. Located on 46 acres of land a few miles south of the Cape Cod Canal, the hatchery has existed on the site since 1860 and was purchased by the state in 1912 for the sum of $9,000. The Sandwich facility is responsible for stocking all of the state-managed ponds, lakes, and streams in southeastern Massachusetts, including those on Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard. The hatchery and its staff are funded by proceeds from the tax on fishing tackle and fishing license sales, and the facility is open to the public. Shortly after my arrival, I met with hatchery manager Craig Ladowski, who told me about the different species Welcome raised at the Craig facility. Ladowski. He's the hatchery manager here at the Sandwich Trout Hatchery in Sandwich, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. Craig, how long have you been the manager here? How long have you worked here? Well, I've worked here for 20 years, uh -huh. uh, August 11th, and I've been the manager here for about six years. Right, so it's fair to say uh, that you know a thing or two about uh, raising trout. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you can be humble. <laughs> so how many species of trout do you have here? Uh, Technically five uh -huh. that we raise. Uh, we have brook trout, brown trout, uh, tiger trout, um, and then we have two uh, uh, species of rainbow trout. Right. We have the Irwin Ali cross, and then we have the Shasta. You raise the, the trout actually from eggs? Yes. You raise them from eggs until they're, how, how big uh, do they get before you stock them? Uh, 14 to 16 inches. Uh -huh. And you do this twice a year, you were telling me earlier? Yes. Uh -huh. We do, um, we have a, a spring stocking, which we will go to probably, uh, uh, it started two weeks ago, it will uh, go to May, mm -hmm. and then we have the fall stocking, which is right around October 1st. Great, great. Excellent. Well, let's take a little look around the facility and look at the various uh, stages of uh, trout growing, and, um, and then we're going to go and stock a pond. Our first stop was a long metal building that housed tank after tank of tiny trout, as well as trays of trout eggs. at the eggs here, the yes. actual eggs. Well, where do you get the eggs from? We get them from White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, federal government. Okay, yeah. And so how, how many <laughs> how many thousands of eggs? Well, are we have 50,000 50, we got uh, yeah. uh, shipped to us uh, last Thursday. Okay, right. So now what do you have to do to manage these eggs? How do you, how right. do you start them? What do you do? Well, what we have to do every day, we have to go through and pick any white eggs. Okay. The white eggs are dead eggs. Uh -huh. And what will happen is saprolignia fungus will um this is how we do it <laughs> so fungus will grow from yeah. those dead eggs and, on and, and infect all the other eggs oh so you have to siphon them up mm -hmm. one by one one by one that sounds like an interesting fun task it's a lot <laughs> especially when you have um in the fall we'll have probably five hundred thousand eggs in here wow um yeah. so it's it takes about 42 days for the eggs to hatch into alevins, at which point they are transferred to a series of small trays. After another 40 days or so, the fry-sized trout are placed in larger indoor tanks and fed fine powdered food. After six months, or when the trout reach approximately three inches in length, they're transferred to the outdoor pens, which are covered by nets to keep out predators. Um, these are Shasta rainbow trout, um, they're about 7 inches long, we should get them up to about 14 inches long uh, by the fall, uh, when we, we split the densities down. Um, we normally would put out 12,000, 10 or 12,000 fish. Twice a year the hatchery staff removes the mature trout from the pens and loads them onto a truck, which makes the rounds to various ponds and lakes around the southeastern part of the state. I watched as hatchery technician Greg McSherry scooped up netfuls of the wriggling trout, weighed them, and handed them up to Southeast District Fisheries Manager Steve Hurley, who loaded them into metal tanks on the stocking truck. Loaded, full of trout. Let's go stock some ponds. Sounds good. Let's go. On that note, we left the hatchery and followed the stocking truck to nearby Peter's Pond, where McSherry backed the truck into position at the launch ramp. Well, we're here at Peter's Pond and Sandwich. Greg, tell us, what's the drill now? 
Uh, basically, I'm just gonna. This is our tank that we deliver all our fish in, all the ponds, by net. And you scoop them out and just put them in. That's it. It's That's that exact, simple. It's that simple. All right, let's watch them go to work. Boy, you'd think that they uh, wouldn't be able to take such abusive treatment, but they're pretty hardy, aren't they? They're extremely hardy, boy. These are the tigers here. Can you do a close-up of the net? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. All right. All the commotion quickly drew the attention of local anglers who came over to check us out. Well, I'm here with Roland Stewart. Roland, you saw the truck pull up. I noticed you came over. It's like a feeding frenzy. It, it attracted you. I, I guess the I guess the trout fishing is going to get a lot better for you uh, in the next it's, couple of weeks. <laughs> it's always fun to see them put in. Yeah. You yeah. Know, see what size they are, what breed of trout they are. Uh -huh. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, I won't fish for these fish. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. we'll you know we'll give them some time. Yep. But uh, it's just fun to know what's going on, and uh, yeah. you can pass on the knowledge of the other fishermen too. Yep. Over what they put in today and how many. And yeah. Uh, the, today they're putting in some uh, tiger trout, which is we don't get too many of those. Yeah. Have you caught those before here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good fight. Very good fight. Excellent. They're a cross between a brook trout and a ground trout. Uh huh. No kidding. Yeah. And they're putting in brook trout today, which are probably the most aggressive trout of them all. Mm -hmm. uh, brook trout will bite very easily mm -hmm. on bait or lures. Yep. Uh, give them a couple of days to acclimate, mm -hmm. and uh, the fishing ought to be spectacular. They just docked it Tuesday when I was here too, so Excellent. I'm running into the hatchery truck every time I'm here. Yeah, well it's nice yeah. that you have the time to do this stuff. <laughs> the efforts of Ladowski, McSherry, and the rest of the hatchery staff are clearly appreciated by the fishing public, who are welcome to stop by the hatchery and check out the fish. We should point out that the general public is welcome to come down here to the fish hatchery. It's located right off Route 6A in Sandwich. Bring the family for a picnic lunch on a nice day and definitely bring the kids because they have a fish food dispenser and you get to feed the fish.